Looking for Ada. This is Brian Tobin, head swim coach at SUNY Cortland, Red Dragon Swimming and Diving Camp, June of 2014. Here she goes. Here she goes. <clears throat> there we go. And she's off. Nice start. I want to clean up the entry a little bit. We did some starts off the side of the pool. Hopefully that helps you get, feel a little cleaner on your entry. Come back. Good horizontal body position. Steady kick. That's what I want to see. Nice long reach out in front. Good tumble. Two things though. Tuck the chin more. Try to make it feel as if you're getting your head to almost touch your upper thighs, the front of your legs, your quadricep muscles. That's one thing. Now the other is after you tumble, start to push and then twist. And remember as you're pushing off, you can twist by making a slight turn of the head and a slight turn of the torso. And that'll help you come off the wall cleanly. Left hand is finishing out a little wide from the body. And you'll see, if you rewind and pause, there's a spot where the arm is straight and the wrist is bent and it almost looks like you're forcing it forward because you are and you're forcing it forward underwater which is meaning which means a little bit more resistance a little less efficient and it'll actually slow you down so Edo, when you finish the stroke you want to finish close to the hip and get that hand up and out of the water immediately get the hand up and out of the water immediately Second stroke for Ada. She's going to be a backstroker. Zoom out, get that start. Throw the head back. No touch pads. That makes it a little harder. Good kick. A little bit deep with the kick. So what we want to do is, as you're kicking on your back, on your backstroke. Right now it's a little bit deep and you want to try to splash the surface as if there's a beach ball and every time your feet come up you want to splash the surface and kick that beach ball off the surface of the water. And right now the way that you can do that, again with the chin, chin tuck on the turn, but the best way for you to work on that is to think about straightening out the knees on the upper end of the kick. Just every time you get a full leg extension. And you're going to need to overemphasize that for a while to get used to it. But kicking up towards the surface with the big toes, make those big toes splash the surface, and try to keep the feet shallow in the pool. Now Ada coming towards the camera, backstroke. Nice and smooth, we got a little bit of a body wiggle. And part of this is tied into the arms because we're stiff arming it. We've got a fairly straight arms throughout the pull. So what you want to do is when you pull back on the backstroke, you want to get more elbow bend. You can see you're fairly straight and also deep on the finish. So when the hand goes in, try to rotate the shoulders more. Rotate the shoulders more, keep the hand shallow, and then pull back towards the hip and finish close to the hip. And then that'll keep you a little bit more efficient. Nice job.